Hey guys, Pat Kid here. As you may have noticed throughout my videos, you see a recurring theme. 8 bit. Yeah, um, that's sort of something I really liked. You know, um, after the movie Wreck It Ralph came out, of course. Yeah. The story about an arcade character really got me going. Not the same effect as <clears throat> this movie had it was translated to the Lego movie. So that's why I don't have a bunch of Legos lying around in my videos. So, anyway, you might wonder, why is this modern day Kids so in tide with 8 bit. Were his mom and dad gamers or something? Well, the closest my mom and dad got to being gamers was this. We had two copies of Tetris, and uh, dad played NHL Hockey 95, so uh, I'll review that someday. Anyway. So you might be wondering, why do I like 8-bit so much? Well, I kind of already told you, so if you're still wondering, then stop watching this video. Go back a, a few seconds, maybe a minute. Anyway, so a lot of these 8-bit characters I've really grown to like. Like the Game Boy, when I finally found Mom's Game Boy. Kirby, Mega Man. Hmm. So, I've really just grown to like these guys. The games were simple. Like, you know, they even have modern day equivalents. Take Rad Racer, for example. Compare that to Mario Kart Wii. These games both have a character selection screen. These games both have third person racing, you know, like, um, like this. Hang on. Sorry if the video is getting shaky. You know, like this, it's both like. And. I'm a Luigi. You know, like that. So, by the way, that thing, that was Rad Racer. But you could probably tell the difference. And anyway, take uh, Castlevania. Compare that to, um, Super Paper Mario. Both of these games involve an iconic hero going around places, exploring. And both of these games are hard. But I think on the hardness scale, Castlevania wins out. And also, um, what else does Castle we have that Super Paper Mario does it. Oh yeah, an extremely high price. I'm not gonna lie, this game wasn't cheap, but worth every penny. I, I got it at disc replay. Right on top of Summon's Quest. Also, another reason why I like 8-Bit so much is the sprites 
are always creative. Just look. I mean, that's supposed to be a piranha plant. That's a pipe. And that guy right there is a bike racer. You, you might not be able to tell what these things are. Oh yeah, by the way, that's some Belmont. And then that's Lincoln's old too. Being drawn into existence. And that's a Metroid. Um, anyway. So yeah. All these sprites, they were created. Hmm. Sometimes you might not be able to tell what they are. Like, Simon Belmont on the box art doesn't look anything like Simon Belmont inside the game. Glasses got whipped. Yeah. But sometimes 8 bit box art wasn't so hot like Rad Racer. I know it was a black box game, and black box games had what the game kind of looked like. But come on. It's not really that creative. Then again, what can you do with a racing game? Oh yeah, this! It shows Mario and Luigi. Yes, it's advertising something that just makes it harder to drive. Sorry, Nintendo. But still, I kind of like this cover over this cover. But even today, Games from the past still get what they deserve. We have Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Adventure, and Kirby's Dreamland 2. I do like them apples. Anyway, so that's three 8 bit Kirby games in a row that get to have a spot in the limelight for Kirby's 20th anniversary. Has it really been about 20 years? Huh. I consider it now I have six games. I mean, six. They only have six classic titles. Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Dream... I mean, they have Kirby's Dreamland and Kirby's Dreamland 2 on Game Boy. Kirby's Adventure on the NES. Kirby Superstar, Kirby Stream and 3 on the Super Nintendo. Now that kind of confused me. Why would they put Kirby Stream Land and Kirby Stream Land 2 on Game Boy, but Kirby Stream Land 3 on Super Nintendo? Not to say that Kirby Stream Land 3 is a bad game, but come on, could have had more 8 bit games, which are awesome. Anyway, and I love Kirby Superstar. It is the bomb. And then Kirby 64 the Crystal Shards. Ironically, it's the sixth game. And the number six appears before the number four. And the fourth game is Kirby Superstar. That has eight games in the game. Okay, anyway. So I love these 8 bit titles. I'm probably going to enjoy Castlevania and Rad Racer on Tuesday. And I will continue to enjoy games that are 8 bit. And some games are so good, they get ported to Game Boy, like Asteroids and Missile Command, and other arcade games. So, if you'll excuse me, I got some gaming to do. Bye!
<laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, I was just looking through YouTube. Anyway, um, for reals this time. Bye! By the way, what's up with Dracula on the cover? I mean, seriously, look. He looks like the Joker.